I often see flowers from a passing car that are gone before I can tell what they are. I want to get out of the train and go back to see what they were beside the track. I think of the flowers I'm sure that they weren't, not fireweed loving what woods have burnt, not bluebells gracing a tunnel mouth, or lupin living on sand and drought. Was something brushed across my mind that no one on earth will ever find? Heaven gives glimpses only to those not in position to look too close. That was Passing Glimpses by Robert Frost. I chose the poem not because I think it's the greatest poem ever, just because it's really personal to me. I memorized that poem and recited it at my fifth grade graduation. We were supposed to audition to give speeches at the fifth grade graduation, and my audition was just me reciting some poetry that I had memorized, because that's the kind of brain that I have. The brain where it is much easier for me to read a poem like 18 times, memorize it, and recite it than it is for me to write some original material. The irony is that as a deeply analytical person, to the point of mild neurosis, with a very strong penchant for rote memorization, have memorized verbatim a poem about the impermanence of life's pleasures. The unexamined life is not worth living, but the over-examined life is not well adjusted. Today, I went ice skating for the first time in a couple of years. Um, I grew up playing hockey, and that's something that I was doing around the same time that I memorized that poem. And you can imagine, as a child, the sort of person who memorizes poetry, and the sort of person who plays hockey, not typically the same sort of person. I did not fit in well with my hockey team. I already was not like a lot of the boys my age. And the puberty thing was happening, and that's, that's uncomfortable for cis people. I don't want to say that it was more uncomfortable because everybody has a different experience of puberty, but it was particularly uncomfortable. It was the first time it really hit home that I wasn't going to be able to grow up to be a princess for like the gender reasons, as opposed to the other reasons little girls don't get to grow up to be princesses. So a lot of my memories of that period in my life when I was playing hockey are deeply uncomfortable ones. All of the social pressure and the, the locker room joking and the unsolicited fighting and the... Oh. In some, I remember it as a deeply miserable time in my life, but getting on the ice today, I remembered all the lovely things about it. It was really a wonderful experience, just a shitty little ice rink in the mall, but well worth the $12. $12 is a lot of money. It's like two burritos. Because it felt graceful and like I was flying, and instead of being around, surrounded by a bunch of jock assholes, there were like a bunch of people figure skating. And that's obviously what I should have been doing when I was 12, because fuck. If somebody had let me put on a sparkly unitard, I think my body dysphoria would have been attenuated to some degree. There I go again, analyzing what might have been, thinking about what went wrong, trying to cleave to the past, when really I should just be focusing on staying grateful for all of the beauty and joy around me all the time, even though those things are temporary, because ultimately everything is temporary. And I am temporary, and this video is temporary. I hope it brings you enough joy and gratitude to lift you out of whatever suffering you're experiencing at this moment. I love you. Krista, I'll see you tomorrow.